The gun control debate has been front and center ever since the tragedy in Newtown, Connecticut two weeks ago. While some are calling for stricter laws, others are lining up to arm themselves, concerned that their guns could be taken away. That is exactly what is happening tonight at a gun show in Virginia. Fox 5's Bob Barnard is live in Chantilly tonight with that story. Bob? Well, Tom, the show is now open. It runs through Sunday. It's considered by many here to be the biggest annual gun show on the East Coast. You think some people like their guns? Well, take a look at this. The line to get into this weekend's gun show, hundreds and hundreds waiting two hours before the doors opened at 3 this afternoon. With all the uh, political issues and all that, um, I think there's more people that weren't interested in, in guns before than they are now. With talk of new gun control legislation in response to the shootings at Sandy Hook Elementary School, a crackdown the gun enthusiasts say wouldn't work. No lawful gun owner would even think about doing something like that. Inside the Dulles Expo Center, there are guns, ammunition, and more guns, even machine guns for sale. There's a very active uh, shooting uh, market for machine guns where people will get together and actually shoot machine guns all day long. In two national polls taken since the Newtown massacre, nearly half, and in the other, nearly 60% of those asked said they support some form of enhanced gun control in this country. I'll tell you what will stop a bad guy with a gun. A good guy with a gun. Get your hands out of the sand! We need an assault weapon ban! Outside the Expo Center, members of Code Pink are calling for a ban on assault rifles and high-capacity ammunition magazines. We need a rational gun policy, and we need to get that policy out of the hands of the NRA bullies. In District Heights, Maryland today, about two dozen men, women, and children gathered outside a gun shop they say helps contribute to gun violence in our communities. My nephew, who lived in Richmond, Virginia, was killed about five years ago from a gun. So, yeah, I know what it's like. The protest will come. Make no mistake about that. The protest will come. But today is prayer time. Mm -hmm. They say guns send too many young people to their graves or prison. My basic point and the point I constantly make in my preaching is that we must not rely on physical violence to resolve our human problems. The owner of Realco Gun says he doesn't give interviews, never has, never will. And back here in Chantilly, Virginia, there's still a long line to get into the gun show. The NRA is offering a deal. Join up and get in for free, Tom. Fox 5's Bob Barnard and Chantilly tonight. Thanks, Bob.